What is up guys? Today we're going to be creating this. Now let's get into it and dive in. Alright, we're going to open up Cinema 4D and I'm going to start a new project refresh my live viewer okay so what I used in the picture I showed was a capsule so we're gonna open up a capsule you can do this with any shape I mean the possibilities are endless but for this tutorial we're gonna use a capsule um, after we upload the capsule one of the things that helps me move forward is just creating an HDRI environment I'm gonna use HDRI link provided by Grayscale Gorilla that texture to that link and it's going to give us our background our HDRI environment I'm going to launch the browser and the Botanical Gardens 2 is the one that I use so let's go there boom it's already giving us nice shadows nice lighting from the window it's starting to look realistic after from this point, we're going to open up our materials and create a glossy material. And when we apply that, that's going to give us our reflection. You can see the reflections here. And that's the, you know, it looks like it's there. After we do that, one of the things you're going to have to use is this JS placement. It's free and it's awesome. So we're going to hit R or it's just click this window here it's going to create a random height map basically we can use for displacement and then we can also colorize it and my favorite is this green brown type light green it just looks realistic so we can hit that and then we can save the height which I already got mine saved and then we can save the color so I got both of these saved already so then we go back to Cinema 4D and we double click on our material and we go to diffuse to add the color no and then go to displacement add displacement get that drop down arrow and we're going to change this to the height highest level of detail and we're going to go to this texture right here at the bottom and we're going to apply that height map that we created using JS placement give it a minute there it is it's already on there now for me for this particular I bumped it up to 15 almost 16 and that gave it that nice where you can see the details puncturing in that capsule basically we just model the capsule in two seconds and we exit it out of that and that's it <laughs> you're done now you can play around with this you can play around with JS placement because like I said you can generate a whole bunch of different looks a whole bunch of different things and create tons of awesome uh, models awesome things to use in your projects I mean there's all kind of uh, things in this JS placement I mean you can apply this and just create some funky looks so I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys and yeah quick simple and to the point just look at the detail on that oh my goodness that's phenomenal Thanks for watching guys, please like and subscribe and leave a comment let me know what you think. The Young Spirit, out!